being single can honestly be more fun than being in a relationship. You can find companionship in family and friends. But, being single means you are not accountable to anyone but yourself. Honestly, there are very few times in life this will hold true. So, here is an amazing video on how to love yourself for the fact that you are single and cherish every moment. Welcome to the Ardent Blogger, a channel for all the curiosity lovers who want to know something different every day. Today, we are back with an amazing video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, you are missing out a lot. If you're staying late at work or binge-watching a Netflix series, you don't have to feel guilty for not including another person. As women, the idea of being selfish can be foreign. Society constantly tells us that we are caregivers and nurturers, so why not give some of that back to yourself? Eat the leftovers in the fridge without any regards of who else might want some. Being selfish with your time and energy while you are single does not make you a bad person. So, take charge of you all alone. Let that sink in. You won't owe an explanation for your whereabouts, your choices, or your time to any other person. Appreciate the gift of freedom that you have been given. Step out of your comfort zone and discover your new favorite travel buddy might just be yourself. Taking a trip while you are alone and single can really put your independence and self-discovery to the test. If there's one place that you have always wanted to cross off your bucket list, do it now. Think of eat, pray, love, and find your own self-expression trip. Even if it's an overnight stay in a few towns over, challenge yourself to the journey. Traveling alone means eating alone, sitting alone, and taking your own pictures. All these things society tells us to feel bad about really push you to grow. Don't run away from this kind of experience. Expand your mind and your network by taking a class, either virtual or in person, to develop new skills. Being single allows you to grow without restraint into the exact person you want to be. The class doesn't need to be practical like business or accounting unless that's the skill you want to develop. What we are saying is you can take the pressure off yourself and grow in less demanding ways like taking a pottery class, learning to write poetry, or even take an archery class. Whatever excites you in the world, move towards it. Learn as much as you can about the world for as long as you can. Yes, it's nice when other people buy us nice gifts, but you are just as capable of doing that for yourself. Buying a present for yourself doesn't make them any less meaningful. Being single means you save a lot of money, so you should spend that on yourself. Go out to a nice dinner just for you, buy the expensive dress that you have been eyeing online, take yourself to a spa retreat, go to the major sporting event you want to see in person. Don't limit yourself or think you're being greedy. You're single. You are free to do what you want with both your money and yourself. In the same sense that you treat others the way you want to be treated, treat yourself the way you expect others to treat you. Take a moment to look at exactly what you are doing and how you are living. Are you really enjoying it or have you just kept the traits you've picked up over the years or from past relationships? Now is your time to sit with your habits and evaluate if you truly like what you are doing. Challenge yourself to change your routine for at least three weeks. Cook new dinners, go to different restaurants, buy a different style of clothing, rearrange your bedroom. Being single allows you the freedom of expression and exploration without the questions of a spouse. The only person there to start a fight with you over your new habits is yourself. In a time of being single, you might be spending a lot of alone time with yourself. Use that to your advantage and get crystal clear about the path you want to take in life and what you want. Are you happy in your current job? Could you be working harder? Do you want to change? Reflect on all of that. It is certainly hard to focus on yourself when you aren't single because being selfish in a relationship leads to turmoil. Once you feel comfortable and motivated with all your plans in life, you won't settle for anything less than a partner. Honestly, being single can lead to deeper and more meaningful relationships because you've had the time to focus on yourself and create a stronger partner in yourself. The greatest part of being single? You get to date around and really solidify what you want or need out of a partner. But the pressure of dating shouldn't come from the idea that you need a partner, try approaching it with an open mind, and don't imagine every date leads to a long-term relationship. Truly dating can be fun when you relieve yourself of the idea of the end game being a long-term serious relationship. If you're comfortable with it, then allow yourself to see multiple people at once. There's nothing wrong with having them help you figure out what you want in the future. 
having a companion to do activities with, talk to, and just spend time with, and not have looming pressure, can make it that much more enjoyable. Just live in the time of your life that allows you to explore all the possibilities that the world has to offer you. We are glad you have made till the end. We have handpicked the videos which we recommend you watch next. Feel free to talk to us on our social media channels or on our website theardentblogger.com about any recommendations or suggestions.